Boom, baby. That's right. Car Guy Jake here, guys. Jake Harris. Most of you know me as Car Guy Jake, but I want you to know I, t I take every day and I try to do something better. Today is the very first video of my 2023 total recreation. And hey, guys, listen, real quick. We'll get back to the video in a minute. But please drop comments. Give me feedback. Ask me questions. As I'm growing, I want to hear what you guys have to say about it. And as I'm growing, I want you guys to give me feedback and give me ideas and things like that. This is the why. I'll drop a video uh, about the how, and then we'll keep going with more videos, more videos, total recreation. Like, comment, share this with your friends, share this with your families, and make sure you give me some feedback. What I want you to do is... Follow me along as I'm learning and growing mentally, physically, spiritually, you name it, I'm going to do it, okay? This is the first video and this is the why, okay? Why am I doing a total recreation, you know? Um, I tell my, my kids all the time that, you know why you're a masterpiece? Because God don't make mistakes, that's right. But that being said, I'm trying to model myself after the men in the Bible, okay? So with that, there's an old mentality of tribal mentality, okay? Before we had farms, before we had all this uh, modern technology and civil civilization, we were tribesmen and we, we were nomadic, you know? Um, most of the time when you hear about the Bible, it's this tribe, that tribe, the other tribe. So that being said, I'm trying to tap into that instinctive way that we were we were uh, you know 2000 years ago so if i do that i can get back to my ground roots okay now as an example david and goliath everybody knows the story well maybe not everybody but most people know the story of david and goliath now david was a small shepherd boy goliath was a giant as it is described i don't know the exact age of david but david <laughs> was a shepherd. He protected his flock every day. And that's what I want to get into, not just the overcoming the giant, you know, because that was one event, but the daily grind. Every day, David had to be out in the elements, testing himself, his intestinal fortitude. Every day, he had to stay in the cold, the heat, the rain, the, the snow, whatever, whatever came against him. He had to he had to protect his his flock, all right, no matter what it was, even if it was wild beasts, you know, that's why he was so good at the slingshot. So that being said, by doing that on a daily basis, when he came against the giant, when he came against Goliath, he had the absolute confidence because he was very competent not just competent in the faith that he had with the Lord, but competent in himself, competent in the fact that he has tested himself by the fire, by the cold, by the wind, by the beasts every day. And that's the mentality that I'm trying to tap into. This is the why, because I have been struggling back and forth, back and forth so much with that inner, that inner warrior within, you know, I haven't shared this publicly, like uh, completely with everyone, but I fight and I battle against suicide all the time. I have a friend of mine who actually um, stopped me from committing suicide before, Andy Elliott and Sean Pollard, you know, just a little over two years ago, I had a plan to end my life. Okay, I was going to take my own life because that's what I thought was the absolute best way out. I thought my family would be better. I thought everybody would be better without me. I was so wrong. I was completely wrong. I need to be the best father, the best Christian, the best businessman, the best husband, the best at everything. And be that example, that shining example for not just my family, but for the entire world to see that I am. And I'm going to tell you guys, that being said, 
what changed my, my mentality. And, and it's been a battle for the past couple of years trying to, to get to where I'm just absolutely unstoppable. I'm, I'm, I'm dyslexic, like I'm diagnosed dyslexic. I'm not just saying it for a funny haha, but I'm gonna be reading books every day. Um, if you don't know this, read it, it's relentless. But in any case, the reason why I'm doing this is so that I can tap into that tribal mentality. Sean Pollard broke this down for me on a one-on-one -on -one conversation we had at a total recreation event out in Arizona. And that was the piece of the puzzle that I needed. You know, now a lot of times we hear the same message over and over and over again, and it doesn't sink in, but this sank in so much. And that was like the awe moment for me because I needed to hear that. This is where what it breaks down to. You know, when you talk about the Bible, you talk about this tribe or that tribe or the other tribe. We need that tribal mentality. And I'm going to be tapping into it every day, just like David did before he faced Goliath. Every day. It wasn't that one moment that changed, that, that one moment stands in the book. But it's all the things that David had to do daily, every day, facing the cold, facing the heat, facing the beasts, facing everything, standing up with that inner mentality to say, I am the one, and you will not take my family, you will not take my flock, you will not take me, and that is the mentality I want. By tapping into that, what are you doing? You're, you are creating the best version of yourself to not just serve your family, but in my specific case, for me, I will be able to serve my customers so much better because there's, when I say you're a car guy, Jake family, I mean that. You know, when you guys join the family, I want to be able to serve you guys at the absolute highest level. I want to be able to serve my wife, serve the Lord, serve my family, serve my kids. I want to serve everybody I can at the absolute highest level and make sure that I am the best version of myself. And that is why I'm doing this. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, share with your friends, follow me along my journey because I can't wait to share this tribal mentality with you guys. I need feedback though. Thank you guys so much. I love you. Appreciate you. Have a blessed day.